came true for a diehard Bengals fan who's hard of hearing. She's traveled to home Bengals games for years. Now she's heading to the Super Bowl. Alexa Helwig tells us why she's become an advocate for deaf football fans. Through all the winning and even the losing seasons, Meg Burkhardt might be one of the most animated football fans out there. I've always watched it. Since I was about nine years old, I remember. Burkhardt watched the Bengals from afar for years. She grew up in L.A. and then moved to central Pennsylvania. That's when she started making frequent eight-hour drives to Cincinnati. I've gone every year since 2009. Started one or two times, one or two games, and then I became now at six, seven. Burkhardt's love for football led her to start advocating for other deaf fans. It's hard for us. It's difficult. I mean, we just, it's so many roadblocks. Burkhardt recently went to an away game in Baltimore. I saw captions. Oh, I just had them. In the stadium. I'm not. Why don't so captions on the jumbotron is something she wants in all the stadiums. It's a conversation she started with the Bengals. <laughs> it's been a dream of Burkhardt's to represent the deaf community at a Super Bowl. Friends set up a GoFundMe page to support that goal. Zach Taylor's wife even donated to it after going to eight other games this season. Now I'm going to the Super Bowl for my ninth game. My ninth game, I get to go. I get to go to the Super Bowl. I'm so excited. To help cheer on this team and her favorite player, Joe Mixon, to victory. Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. I love it. That's awesome. With the extra money raised, Meg plans to start a fund and wants to help send a deaf fan to the Super Bowl every year.